What's up subscribers? Today we're going to talk a little bit more about my 5.3 junkyard motor that I bought for $450. Put this at the front of the video, like it before you even fucking watch it. That's what makes sense. So after building the shit horse, I basically wanted to build something similar for my own Fox body Mustang. The shit horse is a 6 liter junkyard motor. The SPP built it together. It has the VS Racing, Sloppy Mechanics, Denma kit or whatever with the GT45, 80 pound Seaman Deca injectors. There's tons of videos of it on SPP TV on our page, so if you want to check that out. But like I was saying, this motor I bought from my own car. The guy said it was an 05, but when we tore it apart, we found out that it actually has a Gen 3 rod, so that kind of sucks. But other than that, it's super clean. It was supposed to have 80,000 kilometers on it. I have some pictures of when I tore it down in the bearings. The plan for this motor is just a little bit more high dollar than the shit horse. If you saw the other video, you know about the Chinese head studs. It has a LS9 cam. The shit horse motor, we didn't actually even take it apart at all. This one I took apart and basically cleaned everything and made sure it was all good. The bearings were super clean, like I said, so I didn't need to replace those. So with the LS9 cam, you have to have a front cam sensor. Lots of people say not to buy this because you have to buy a bunch of other stuff to make it work, even though the cam is cheap at 130 bucks. Luckily, Rob got two motors, so I'm taking the timing cover off one. It has the front cam sensor hole. But as you can see here, this is the one that's meant to work with it, but it would be 58X, which my ECM isn't. And this is the one that came out of my motor. This one goes in at the back in this hole right here. And it's really hard to get out. You gotta pull pretty hard. I wanna do an experiment and see if I can cut this one down and make it work the same as that. Clayton doesn't wanna be involved in my hackery. It was all Clayton's idea, actually. That's the way I understood it. So I did some uh, hacksawing here, part of the old cam sensor. I realize this might look retarded to car people. Measure once, cut once. Drink twice. That's basically what I did there. This might actually work. Uh, probability is still probably pretty low. So as you can see here, there's the uh, three connections in here. It's three prong here, three here. So really all I have to do is figure a way to connect this where those will connect and this whole idea might actually work, but probably not. So a lot of people hate on the LS9 cam and say it's not even worth it because it's only $130, which is cheap, but you have to get the timing cover, which is different, the sensor, and you also have to get a different cam gear, which I ordered, but isn't here yet. I went with it because I can get the timing cover from Rob for free. 60 bucks! <laughs> or 60 bucks. Uh, the gear was 40, and if I can cut up the sensor and make it work, that's Why free. So all in all, compared to a $350 custom grind or more for, you know, a little John cam or something, for this budget motor, this should work out just fine. Right now I got the truck pan on it. I'm gonna see if this ends up working in the car. With the shit horse, we we're able to keep it and the ground clearance isn't too bad at all. So I'm hoping this will work. I have an aftermarket K member in the Mustang, so that uh, changes a whole bunch of variables, but we'll just have to test fit it in spring and see what happens. Last Sunday I put the rockers in and the push rods and tightened those all down. So it's pretty complete now. Waiting on that gear and that'll finish up the front timing cover and then basically just clean it and paint it and it'll be ready to go. Oh, and figure out what to do with the intake. Randy. Randy. Randy's here. Get your 40 uh, comments per user yet on the last video? More like four comments per total. Fucking, you should put Gambling McGee on YouTube. Gambler. Gambler, they call him Gambler. You can I'll see. break your phone in half. Fuck right off. What's got you so upset? Just thinking about gambling? You? Or me, what did I do? You're fucking irritating. <laughs> I'm just using a file now to try and clean it up. There's nothing you can do to JW weld this or anything back together. Sensor you no need is 40 bucks. What would you do? I'd go right to the VLTs, pound in 20 bucks, and hope for the moon. It's only 40 bucks, right? But I Here's thought I'd try. It fails or cracks or falls apart like it's going to do. And I got the, uh, the contacts sticking out pretty good there now. How are you gonna solder that? I don't know. JB Weldon is jam it together. That's not gonna fucking work. Anything's possible, Randy. No, that's not possible, Even Mike. Even if you rough up the plastic <laughs> a bit first, you know what I'm saying? Take it little, like, 80 grit? No. I know it's a ridiculous <laughs> idea, and I know it's only $40, but why not give it a try? Leave a comment saying if you think it'll work or not, and your ideas to make it work. You know, I was thinking about this today. Clayton and his torque wrench. 
series. He's just one of those guys who thinks because it's newer, because no, it's a new style, that's new. better. But that's in reality, it does, it does the same thing that a bendy does. It just makes a clicking sound, which makes you feel better. And I just think it's more repeatable. David Freiberger disagrees with you. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's hard cool. to argue with that. For those subscribed to Motor Trend On Demand, oh, you can see cool. David Freiberger using a bendy on the motor for the speaking, Crusher Camaro. Most people should use bendies, and you want to know why? Because most people are fucking idiots, and they fucking leave their torque wrench set on the last on the last setting they use, and they fuck it, they fuck up the calibration on it within the first year or whatever of owning. Being that it's a Gen 3 motor, my expectations for horsepower aren't super high for this one. I'd be happy with like 550 rear wheel, 600 to keep it safe, and maybe like a big tune in case I need it at the track or whatnot. The small block Ford nitrous motor that came out of my Mustang made 523 rear wheel horsepower on motor. So if it's around 550, it'll feel all right, I figure. I was really counting on this motor being a Gen 4, but it was super clean, so even though it was a Gen 3, I figured I'd keep it and use it for now. Uh, eventually I'd probably like to get a 6 liter and do a forged, at least rods and pistons, maybe rotating assembly and then really push it. For now it'll just be nice to drive my Mustang again. It's been a while since the Ford motor screwed up. There'll definitely be a lot more videos of this and I'll try to keep you guys updated. If you have any questions you can just uh, post in the comment section I'll try to get back to you or I'll address them in a future video. Guys, I might have noticed an issue with the uh, cam sensor. Notice a what? Is that a super obvious issue that you missed? Yes, this is a bigger diameter, which you can clearly see. So that just adds another complication to an already fucked up situation. Did you not plan this out? What's so fucking ever? I didn't plan this out at all. I started the video by saying we we're experimenting. Yep, yeah, but the other sense is only $40, so... One of the cool things Rob did to this bumper, he put this scoop in here to get more air into the rad and the intercooler. Clayton called it ricey though. It's ricey. Probably doesn't do anything. Because it's a scoop. Rob's build is definitely a little fancier than mine's gonna be. So you kinda got the selection. The shit horse, the shitty budget, super cheap. Mine kinda mid-grade and then this one, the twin turbo, pretty fancy, probably 1000 horsepower build. As for my motor, I'm planning to go with an S475, 132AR, just the cheap one. I figure I can get a genuine Borg Warner unit for about 650 bucks. And it'll get me to the horsepower level I'm looking for right now. Leave 50 fucking comments per user. Fucking smash that like button. Fucking smash it. Alright, so that's all for today. There'll be more videos of this and the Nova build coming up soon. So if you're into this kind of stuff, definitely subscribe. Drop a like if you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time.